grand opening, grand closing. Welcome, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. Your only friend is YouTube Streets, Border Rock 77. And I mean, if you didn't get the word now, apparently, see it these in, in just its beta form for the PlayStation 5. It's running better, it's, it's overall better than the Xbox Series X version. And so far, the four games that Xbox has ported, PlayStation 5, apparently they all run better. They all have some type of advantage over the Xbox Series X. So technically speaking, the worst console or the worst platform to play Xbox first party games is on their very own console. Bear with me with this, but see at these. This is Rare's first time making a PlayStation game ever. They never made a PlayStation game while they were under Nintendo. And since day one with Xbox, they never made a game on PlayStation hardware until Sea of Thieves. So this is their first experience with PlayStation in the history of their development studio. And on their first go around, putting their game on PlayStation 5, to which they had no part in the development or providing guidance or opinions on how the PlayStation 5 should be developed. You know, like, like, like you know, PlayStation first party and some third party studios had. No, but Rare was all in on how Series X and S was being developed. They were there from the beginning. I mean, Rare was there since OG Xbox. So they know Xbox Series X hardware Series S hardware, toolkits, tool sets, I mean, SDKs, all of it. They were there since inception. And somehow on their first go around, they were able to make their game be better on the PlayStation 5 than their own hardware. Let's let's look at some stuff right here. See these sells better on PS5, Xbox games outshine on rival platform. Nick Marcel, all of the first four games Xbox put on PlayStation look and run better on PlayStation. Nib 95, Digital Foundry drop a Sea of Thieves PS5 beta versus Xbox Series X comparison. And the PS5 version is superior. Ordinary, not necessarily tweet worthy, but it means Sea of Thieves joins Hi-Fi Rush Pentiment and Ghostwire Tokyo as first first party Xbox game superior on PS5. Red Dragon and another one. Sea of Thieves is best played on PS5 if you are on consoles. Xbox Series X is lagging behind. Follows Hi-Fi Rush where PlayStation users get the premium experience. Icon Era. Sea of Thieves goes multi-plat. PS5 and Xbox are tested. The PS5 is the best place to play Xbox exclusives, not including PC, obviously. Most likely talking about consoles. Of course, J-Dub, as expected, PS5 is the best console to play Microsoft first-party games like Sea of Thieves. Digital Foundry goes in. 19 flops, GCN, RDNA 1.5 hybrid over full RDNA 2. Zubitech, PlayStation 5 becomes the definitive way to play Xbox Studio games on console. Deathloop. Ghostwire, Pentiment, High Fibers, Grounded, Sea of Thieves. All play better and best on PlayStation 5. Let me give that one a like. Let me retweet that one out. Out. Like, listen. Let's, let's, let's do a face to face. You cannot possibly be that much of a corporate concubine where you're looking at your $500 Xbox Series S and you know you bought it for the power. Do not lie that you bought your console 
to worry about where other people play Xbox games on other platforms that you're not playing on. You bought that Series X for a reason. And don't say you didn't because you would have bought the Series S if it was just about the games and joining it. Why would you spend the extra $200? You spent that extra money and you signed on for Series X because it was supposed to be the world's most powerful console. Listen, Series X owners, how does it feel that you literally own the worst way to play Xbox game? Out of all the available choices that are out there, you picked the worst. The worst. The only way it's not the worst if there's a Nintendo Switch version. I want you to think about that. How does it feel that the only way you can say that your version is not the worst version is if you can hope there's a Nintendo Switch port. That's your only saving grace. That hopefully that there's a port on Switch so that way you can say that's the worst version. You, you cannot be that much of a cuck. You cannot. There's, please tell me you are not going to corporate concubine. You're not going to do the levels of... Oh my God, I can't. There's no way. There is no way. This has to be the feather that breaks the camel's back with you guys. There is no way. There is no way you are literally typing in the comment section of this video, finding the way to damage control Xbox. There's just no way. If you're in my comment section, even remotely, remotely trying to defend Microsoft or come up with some type of whataboutism or anything, you are the biggest concubine this planet has ever known like like it's absolutely insane there's just no way that you are typing right now in my comment section embarrassing yourself there is no way you're gonna have your name associated with embarrassment like literally you are playing you if you have the series x and you're playing the series x you're literally playing the worst possible way to play xbox games that is out Oh my God, it's this, yo, I would, I would straight field goal kick. If I was an Xbox gamer right now, oh, I would have straight, I would have field goal kicked that thing a long time ago. But this, if there was, any, if there was somehow, I'm, I'm going to be honest, there's no amount of fentanyl on this planet that, that would, oh, to make you keep an Xbox. Like how much drugs are you guys pumping in your veins at this point? And you you still guys somehow survive. Most people would have OD'd like ages ago. And you guys just keep pumping like, oh, I cannot, I cannot think the amount of opium or, or, or else LSD or like all, all the cocktails or drugs out there. You guys are just slurping it all. There's just no way. And I know you guys are just going to type in the comment section. Defend this. You guys have the worst version of your own Xbox game. You literally paid $500 to have the worst. It is absolutely embarrassing. That the only way you guys can say your version is not the worst is if Microsoft made a Nintendo port. Holy shit. This shit is a disaster. Yo, you guys, I'm telling you, man, if you guys still out here doing the Lord's work, if you guys are out here doing this nonprofit work on a company that literally literally created a console just to play the worst version of their own first party games and you guys accept that man you guys must be either really broken love game pass that's the only thing i could think of like like you guys like the only people i could think that could put up with this is broke dudes who literally if it wasn't for game pass you wouldn't be playing games that's the only group i could think of Gamers that have never really been able to play a lot of games until Game Pass. It's just crazy how Xbox is just dog shit. It's just, it's not even, it's not even trolling. It's not even like engagement farming at this point. Like, holy shit. This is, I never even heard of this before. Like never, you know, I mean, of course you hear Whoever makes a game and it goes on PC, obviously, if you get the most best build, it's going to run on best on PC. Okay, yeah, that's obvious. But, you know, 
games running on what you guys at one point called the PlayStation 4 Pro Pro is running on the better on the PlayStation 4 Pro Pro. Yo, this shit is what now listen. PS5 Pro is coming. Listen, if you really love Xbox games like that, and you're a console gamer, you might want to get a PS5 Pro. Because there you'll be able to play the very best version of Multiplats and Xbox first party games at its best from a console perspective. Obviously, PC, you know, you build yourself a good PC, high end PC, that's, that's always going to trump, right? But some of you may not be down with PC. If you're a console gamer, your best bet is a PS5 Pro. If I were you, I would stop knocking it. Stop being a fanboy. Stop being a corporate concubine. Get yourself a PS5 Pro. And you will enjoy Xbox First Party games <laughs> at its best. You might even get to play Starfield at 60 frames on console. Because that's the only way you could do it <laughs> yo this is just can't be happening man listen oh man you xbox dudes having it rough this i don't know what to tell you guys all you content creators and xbox advocates you just got shitted on in 2024 like man you, you, your parade has been rained on it's, it's just straight monsoon season you gets no love like this shit is a wrap I don't even think a new generation Xbox game will even help you at this point. This is just embarrassing for you guys. Oh, and I'm and even right now I can see the the dumbasses damage controlling this on the comment section. And I don't even know why, cause you caught the worst version of your own games in gaming. Like literally everyone plays your games better than your own five hundred dollar console. Oh man. This is your only friend is YouTube Street Porter Rock 77. Let me know in the comment section if you bought a Series X and this was the final straw. This has to be the final straw. There's just no way you could push forward with that piece of shit product. There's just no way. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. I'm out of here. You guys take care. Peace. Grand opening. Grand closing.